Oh my god, it's so hot. Hey y'all. It's your bitch. I'm back. It's hot as shit. Yesterday it was hot as fuck too. It was like 100 degrees in Boston. I don't know what the weather's like today. I'll check in a minute. The last time I vlogged, I wasn't really doing much. It's so funny because every time I vlog, I literally look like shit. And all the days that I look cute, I don't fucking vlog. Like, bitch, are you okay? But anyways, um, <laughs> I just decided to vlog because me and Josiah are at BJ's. You don't want to say hi, Josiah? He's walking ahead of me. So, yeah. I decided to vlog a bit. So, why not? So, yeah. We're at BJ's. About to get some couple of things for the house. And that's really that. So. <laughs> that's Josiah being Josiah. We're about to walk in. And do what it does. And get nice. Yeah. It's sitting by herself with no support like a big girl right when i say that you want to fall mama Malia's. she's watching keeping up with me and she's so interested in the kardashians mama Malia. she's smiling hi mama hi mama where you going? You're skewing mama. I thought she was going to fall back. Say hi, mama. You're such a big girl, mama. Hey, y'all. I look a mess right now. But I don't care because I won't talk to y'all. Baby Malia's here, making her debut. <laughs> Y'all, mm. I'm making this video, y'all, because I am, honestly, I'm fed up. Like, I'm fed up. I feel like I'm just so nice to people, but there has a time where, like, it just has to stop. So, like, Malia's dad has been putting me through a lot of bullshit. I'm really sick of it. So I decided today that I'm going to go get a restraining order on him. So he cannot come to my house, he cannot come see me. I'm just like tired of the back and forth. When he has a problem with his first baby mother, he comes here. And I'm honestly sick and tired of this cycle. It's just like, it's, it's getting sick. You know what I mean? I already have a restraining order on his first baby mother. She's constantly harassing me and bothering me. And then I have to deal with him being inconsistent in my daughter's life. And it's like, if you're gonna be a bullshit parent, at least be a bullshit parent consistently. I can't do the whole, sometimes you're here, and then when you're not here, it's, it's, it's all this mess and talk about my daughter that she's not yours and da, da da talking all this reckless bullshit and I'm just sick of it. It's draining. It's honestly so draining. And I've had it. Like I'm done. So I'm getting a restraining order on him today. I will have a restraining order on the both of them. And they cannot bother me no more. They cannot come to my house. I've had this girl come to my house. She fought me one month after me having my daughter. She put her hands on me. Like, I'm just so sick of this bullshit. Like, sick of it. Like, my daughter is only four months old. Like, I feel like I have lived a whole entire years of soap operas in literally four fucking months like i've gone through so much bullshit with him and his baby mother she's literally been fucking harassing the shit out of me since i was pregnant popping up at my house coming to my house telling people oh if i got rowdy with her while i was pregnant that she would have fucking fought me pregnant like girl you're just fucking miserable and you're mad as shit because 
I have a baby with your baby daddy. But it doesn't make any sense. You're not mad at him. He's the one who did this shit to you. I don't got nothing with you, girl. Me and you are not friends. Never was. I didn't know you. The only common denominator between me and you is fucking him. And you're fine with him. So that shit's weird to me. I don't know. That's my issue with her. Like, leave me alone. I don't know you. Like, leave me the fuck alone. That's that. But anyways, I got off topic a little bit because when I started talking about that bitch and this nigga, like, ugh. I just, I hate that I'm in this. I'm not mad that I have my daughter because I've always wanted a daughter. I'm a girl, like, and I obviously I want a little girl because that's me. That's literally me. And I know exactly how to raise her. I know what to do. That's my daughter, you know? That's why I always wanted a daughter. So I don't regret it. I regret her. I love her so much. She is the best little baby i really got blessed but sometimes we just have kids with the wrong people and just gotta deal me and malia just woke up don't mind her she's a little rough i'm about to take her bath and then we're just gonna go to the courthouse i'll keep y'all tuned in and let y'all know what's up malia say hi to the camera mush mamas say hi mamas that's enough cameo for me and her. Honestly, I look a mess. Ooh. I hate when she does this. She loves to grab. Oh, let's go. All right, y'all. I'm going to go get us ready. I'm going to finish getting ready. Go to the courthouse. I'll tell you guys what happens after. I don't really fucking know. But honestly, just like keep up with the drama. <laughs> There's always drama here always drama beautiful chocolate skin baby girl you are gorgeous mama you are so pretty mama i love her <laughs> this is just the best all right y'all i've been talking for rambling for nine minutes i'm out it's probably not gonna be nine minutes for y'all because i'm gonna probably cut a lot of it but yeah that's the drift that's me and Malia. I'll come back when we're done getting ready and I'm headed to the courthouse. Say bye, bitch mamas. <laughs> She's so cute. Say bye, bitch mamas. Bye. Okay, you guys, so me and Malia are ready. We're ready. I still look a mess. Malia looks great. But I look a mess. I'm ready to go to the courthouse now to go get that restraining order. And yeah, I told y'all I was gonna tune back in when I was done getting ready. Me and Malia. I'll show y'all Malia. Miss Mamas. Say hi, Miss Mamas. Say hi, Miss Mamas. She's all done. She's ready. She looks so cute. You so cute, mama. Say hi, mama. Say hi, mama. Oh, yeah. Molly looks great. I look like shit. And yeah, we're ready to go. I don't really care. I'm just going to go get this restraining order and come back home. But you know, I got to make sure my daughter's right before I'm right. So I don't really give a fuck how I look. As long as my child looks perfect. That's all that matters to me. Um, so yeah, we'll be back. Um, I probably won't. I won't be able to record while I'm in there. So I will let y'all know what happens when I get out. So yeah, y'all probably see me in the car when I come back. Okay, toodles. So hey y'all, what's up? It's me, your bitch, featuring Malia. Malia. Malia mamas, Malia mamas. She's looking at something outside. We're outside, we're in my car. I said I would record when I was done. Zia mamas. And I'm done, I'm actually home. I forgot to record when I got out. I just left the courthouse. I got the restraining order for two weeks. I have to go back to court on September 2nd my birthday month for a hearing for the restraining order so i can get it for a year he's supposed to go too so we'll see how that goes but i got granted for two weeks so i'm happy i'm excited i am happy and this is like 
the first steps to a new and better future not toxic do what i need to do for my children and that's that i feel like this is like the only way to really have him leave me alone for now nobody's taking me seriously on anything that i say so especially him when he should because i am i have his daughter so everything that i say you sh should take seriously but he doesn't take me seriously and that's okay that's why there's laws there's those things to help protect you and your children so that's just what i'm gonna do and yeah that's just how it's gonna be it's unfortunate it's very unfortunate but it's life what can you do you can't do nothing about it and i need to protect my kids and myself if I'm not good, who is going to take care of my children? If I'm getting abused and used, what is going to be left for my children? Because I'm the only caretaker for my children. I gotta move on and move graciously. And that's what I'm trying to do. Move on, be happy. Yeah. With my babies. Josiah's at the gym right now. He didn't want to come with us. He was like, yeah, I'm not going. Even when the police yesterday, he was like, oh, I'm going inside. I'm not dealing with the police. So that's what's going on with me and Malia, because Joe's at the gym. So yeah, anyways, y'all, I don't know what I'm doing for the rest of the day. To me, honestly, I don't really have plans. My car is too fucked up for me to go to work, so I'm chilling at home with my beautiful baby. We're going to wait for Josiah. And you want to know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a YouTube video that I planned to fucking edit a while ago, like two weeks ago. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to, because I haven't uploaded. It's been almost four weeks since the last time I uploaded. I'm so inconsistent. But I'm trying to be better for y'all. I really, really am. My subscribers keep going up a little, little, little by little. I mean, if I was consistent every single day, I'm pretty sure I would get more. But it's okay. This is how it is for now. And that's just that. So, I'm going to go inside now. We're going to go edit this video. Uh, I'm going to show y'all little clips of me editing. I don't know. We'll see how that looks. So, yeah. Back. Say bye, Miss Midias. Say bye, Miss Mamas. Say bye bye. Bye, Papush. Alright, we're out. I'll tune back in. Bye.